So, in Austin right now, we've got this thing called the International Drag Festival. And there's one thing I know, the world's been growing a lot in all sorts of ways, including, including the gaming community. And I found a gamer here who's actually a part of the International Drag Festival. Could you introduce yourself to the masses, please? My name is Cheyenne O'Shea, aka Gary. I'm from the UK and I live in Essex in the UK, beside the beach. Oh, wow. So that's kind of like the... What would we say? What what could be compared in America to that area? What could be compared to it? Not fucking Florida, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's not hot like that. Um, I don't know, it's very picturesque, it's, uh, it's nice. Uh, with it being in the UK, it's very small. Um, you know, the community is quite tight. Um, but I, I love, love Austin. I absolutely love it. It's my third year coming in. Oh, whoa, good. Glad you could come back. Now, we spoke earlier, started with tattoos, and it led to gaming. Like, when you do relax and you're not in the paint, I mean, gaming-wise, are you a PC person? Do you have a game system? What's your usual go-to? Uh, my usual go-to is just things that are on my phone, Any, anything that I can do to pass the time. So I'm quite busy, but sometimes I do find gaming a little bit of a, um, an escape that kind of gets me away from everything, all the craziness in my life. Well, it's very therapeutic yeah, from what a lot of people all say. Of all of a sudden I become very butch and I'm like, with a fucking machine gun. Yeah, There's know, nothing wrong with that. Put down those heels and get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what's your, what's your poise in gaming-wise? I like old school platform games. Okay. I like old school, like, to, to completely zone me out, I like the old Sonic the Hedgehog. I know it's really bad. I love it. There's nothing wrong with that. Sonic still has some legs. They've had a resurrection some way. Have you checked out the new shit? No. Oh yeah, the, um, they did uh, Sonic Mania recently, where it's back to 2D side scrolling, but it's 3D detailed. So, yeah, you can find that on I think the Nintendo Switch, and it might be on PS4. All right, I was only getting beeps and boops of it myself, so. so I'm gonna have to give you my email address or my telephone number, and then you're gonna have to sort me out with the stuff. And get some <laughs> well, I mean, That's we. The easiest way to get a guy's <laughs> <laughs> well, so I mean, clearly you don't you don't fit even the stereotype of a gamer. Le well, maybe more of a gamer, but not quite the traditional um, illusionist. What what would be the term for you? Uh, I'm an impersonator. So, uh, impersonist. Yeah, okay. Very so cool. But you do get to like sit down, chill out, game, things like that. I mean, do you have friends that you like, hey, I just passed this level, you gotta check this out, it's insane. Well, they say it to me, but I don't know, because I, I got um, kind of brought up in like 2D games, like platform games, they're throwing all this 3D shit at me and I can't cope with it. It's too much, it's too much. <laughs> Well, there's a huge retro resurrection going on. Like, if you go on Steam, you can find a lot of it. It's really cool. Yeah. Come on, retro. L lots of platformers. Some are even going back to, like, old-school 2D, like, first-person shooters and shit like that. You were talking about machine guns earlier. But what would your dream game be? Like... Oh, my dream game would be a game made of me, of course. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, going around like a bit like The Sims. Kind of like grow, get me a husband at some point in my fucking life, get me dual citizenship. Um, yeah, we can work on that. I think we can work on that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, they got life simulators, things like that. There's this one called Dream Daddy, which is kind of interesting. You play a divorced father and you. Shut. No, oh, no, no! I'm, I'm not, I'm not even joking. The game grumps of all people helped like front the money for it, and they did voice acting. That's good. So yeah, you. Again, you got me with the test with me up with this daddy dot com shit. I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and, and it's not necessarily X-rated, so it's still tasteful and entertaining. Oh yeah, yeah. They've got a way like for streamers, they can cut out some of the scenes. That way they can put it online and showcase, hey, this game's actually kind of fun, but, I mean, it's a dating sim, and what comes with dating in the 21st century? Sex. Lots of sex. 
I mean, the cowboy hat song. <laughs> Well, I mean, they, they got a roughneck as one of your potentials, and, and they got a gothic daddy, too. So, yeah, dude, dude straight up Lestat. Long black hair, billowy shirt, and everything. I think he even shows up with a cape at one point. I'm in for it. I'm on holiday. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not for any kind of daddy right now. It's just not the fucking love, right? It's like pick a fold and fuck it. It's like you don't know what you're fucking. <laughs> so, may, maybe you got some games to go check out now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 Hintity Hintent developers, look this person up. Thank you. Find me on YouTube. All right, thank you for your time.